After the presidential race,、uh, when did you know that that Andrew would be running for office again? Running for mayor is something that people floated to us in passing. Andrew always said, "No, no, that's you know, I'm not interested." It wasn't until this crisis, though. Like this is really the the reason why he saw、um, such a need to step up and do this. And I supported him because I saw the same thing. You know, we, our family, we live here. You know, this, we walk these streets, and we see what's going on. We see the crime,、um, we see the attacks on Asian Americans,、um, unprecedented violence happening in our streets, the homelessness crisis on our streets, the mental health crisis. I try to, bring, try to bring my kids to the playground, but we're chased out of the playgrounds because there are people there who don't belong there. And you know, these are our experiences, and we、um, therefore feel this obligation to、um, do whatever we can to help our city out of this crisis. Does the mayor race feel different from the presidential race? Coming, we were coming from being the underdogs, the longer than long shot. Candidate in the presidential to being the front runner、um, in this race, and it's really brutal to be the front runner because everybody tries to cut you down at every turn. But you know, Andrew and I, the two of us, we're very thick-skinned. We try to laugh about it because all of it really is so trivial in terms of they're not. It's not anything substantive. You know the the. Attacks about how we're not actually re- real New Yorkers, and you know him not knowing about sort of the、um, acronyms around policies and all of these things. It's it's none of it is substantive. You know that's what we have to remember, and also try to remind people <laughs> that these are not really the issues that real New Yorkers care about. We as a family, we're very busy. You know, I've、uh, now do a lot of events with him. We have. Two boys, and、um, I'm mostly home with them.、Uh, but now I have a little bit of respite because he, they're finally back in school in person. So it means that I have more time to be out on the trail,、um, and I try to do that as much as I can because I love being out there on the street and talking to people and hearing what issues matter to them. You made a public statement with Andrew earlier、uh, on the Daily News cartoon incident, right? And we know Andrew has been、uh, under frequent attacks at this time of the race. So, what made you decide to speak up? I was so angry. <laughs> a picture can be worth a thousand words, and that cartoon was so offensive to so many. Asian Americans. Some people sent it to us saying, "Can you believe this? This is so racist." And we looked at it, and, odd, and immediately, you know, you felt the sting. You felt the sting of that Asian, you know, per- perpetual Asian foreigner trope. But the most problematic is that I think this highlights the sense that Asian Americans、um, in this country don't have、um, this. Social or political power, and that you know, even if you publish something that's clearly very upsetting to us, that you would, you would stand by it, you know, and and that I don't believe would happen with any other race.、Uh, what are Andrew's flaws that you cannot stand? <laughs>、uh, just elaborate on. Oh, I love talking about his flaws. Yes, <laughs> this is my time to shine.、Um, <laughs> I told Andrew, don't put me in front of reporters. I'm more likely to roast him than <laughs> anything else. So,、um, his flaws. So, I would say、um, his inability to cook is <laughs> definitely one of them. On one of our first dates together, he tried to cook for me, and I think he literally、um, boiled some whole wheat pasta and put like a can of marinara sauce. Over it, and he was like, "Here you go." And I was like, "First of all, who eats whole wheat pasta? <laughs>、um, it tastes like cardboard." And I said, "Don't ever do this again. Thank you, but don't ever do this again." He's always mismatching the boys' clothes. <laughs> 
you know, they're five and eight. They, they, they technically can wear each other's clothes, but he's always putting our older ones in the younger one's clothes and like the younger one in the older one's clothes. And I'm like, Andrew. <laughs> um, but you know, things, I, I would say like some of these things in the domestic realm, he has not mastered yet, but he's an amazing father. He does everything that counts that really matters well. So I can't I can't really complain, but I still like to poke fun at him. <laughs>